Hey there guys, welcome to today's episode. I'm going to be doing a plugin tutorial on a friend's plugin. It is a bungee cord plugin, so you install it onto your bungee cord server and it works all over your network. And the developer of this is called Left Witch. So I am going to start off with the commands. So if we do slash f help, or you can do slash friend help, or slash friends help. They all work, so it gives you a list of the commands that you can do. So you could do slash friend help, which obviously opens up these commands. Then you've got slash friend, which opens up your GUI for all your friend options. And then you can type slash friend request and then the player name, or you can type slash friend add player name. They both work. So we're going to take a look at the GUI. So we're just going to type slash F and it will open up the GUI. We've got a list of our friends here. We've then got a couple of features down the bottom. So first thing here, you can enable or disable friend requests. So if you click this, you cannot receive friend requests anymore. So if anybody sends you it, you will not receive it and it will not go through. So we're gonna keep that enabled. You can also enable or disable notifications of your friends joining or leaving the network you are on. So I will show you that in a bit. Then you can update your status, which is a very cool feature of this. So let's take a look here. This person, which is the developer, he has got a status of faded. Then another player has got a face as their status. Um, this person's got hey as their status. I'll show you how to use that in a sec. You can then uh, click here to see if you've got any friends requests. Then once you're in here, you can click this again to go back to your friends list. And then this one here allows you to add a friend. Now we are going to add Jessica over there. So you just hit tab and it will autofill it. So friend request has been sent to Jessica. So I will go over to Jessica and accept the friend request. So I went over to Jessica and I declined the friend request so we could see what it looked like when we receive one. So we have received a friend request from Jessica. So we click or we type slash F. You then hover over here, it says friends request one. We have one friends request, so we click that now. And we can see all of our friend requests here. So we just click this. And then you can decline friend request or you can accept the friend request and the player in the middle, you can see their status and whether they're online or offline and what server they are on. So we're gonna accept that. So then we'll go to our friends list and their head is in the friends list. So that is how you add someone. Now, we're going to have a look at the notifications really quickly. So if we just watch chat, Jessica will leave the server. So we've got your friend Jessica has left the server and now Jessica will rejoin. And it says Jessica has joined the server. So now if we go back to our GUI and we disable notifications, we can see Jessica over there. And if I just get rid of Jessica, we do not get a notification saying she has left. And if she rejoins, we can see her in front of us. We do not get a notification that she had joined. So I'm gonna re-enable that. Next thing you can do, you can update your status. So if I do it on Jessica, you can watch. So her status right now is a love heart. So I will go on to Jessica and just quickly change it. Okay, and now we get a notification saying Jessica has changed her status to hello. Now if we look into the GUI, we can see she's changed her status. So the way that you do that, you just click update status and then you type exactly what you want in the chat. So we'll have um, smiley face, okay? Um, so then all of our friends will then get a notification if they're online that I have just changed my status. So next thing we can do, we can click on a friend and if they're online, we can jump to them. So if I go and send Jessica to a different server, so she's on Kit PVP. Okay, so if we look over Jessica now, she's on the server Kit PVP. So I'm going to click on her. Still online on the Kit PVP server, and I'm going to click to jump to my friend. And now I am in the Kit PVP server as well. Um, 
from here I can well if I show you Jessica poking me yep, there's a feature where you can poke your friends so if you click on their name you can click poke a friend and then they are poked if I go over to Jessica and poke my account you can see Jessica has poked you that's what happens when somebody pokes you you can also delete people so remove the friend just by clicking here and then they are all gone okay so that was all of the friend features we are now gonna look at the party features now you can type slash party to get all of the commands just like you can type slash friend help to get all the friends commands so it gives you a list so to create a party you can do slash party create and then it tells you that you've created a party and you can invite other players so you do that with slash party invite and then their name so Jessica Mia has been invited so if I go over to Jessica and I type slash party accept um, and then it says Jessica has joined so obviously this command here slash party accept to accept an invite that the leader of a party has sent you you can also leave a party with a slash party leave and you can change the leader of the party with a slash party set leader and then the name of the person you want to set as the leader and you can do slash party list and you can see who is in your party you can also change the maximum amount of players you want to be in parties in the config okay so if we uh, see the features of being in a party you can have um, you can teleport to uh, different servers together so Jessica is in hub I am in hub so if we click kit pvp we go over to kit pvp together so we join together and if I type slash hub and go back to hub we go to the hub together okay so you you follow each other you've also got um, um, chat that you can have with your friends uh, I just wanted to say that um, Oops. slash party when you uh, invite someone to your party they don't have to be on your friends list because we deleted Jessica from her friends list but um, to uh, have friend messaging you do have to be friends so I'm going to do slash f message Jessica and she's not on my friends list so I cannot message her so if I quickly add her as a friend accept it on Jessica's half accept okay so now Jessica is now a friend so if I message her now it works you have to be friends to be able to send friend messages to each other so that is just slash f message stands for friend message you can also do slash fr for reply so just to replying to the last person you spoke to um, so that is all of the party commands. We are now going to go take a look at the configuration. Okay, so we are now in the config. Um, I'm going to explain all of the features of this to you. So the first thing here is disabled servers. Now you can add servers that you do not want players to have access to the friends system on. For example, if you don't want players to jump to their friends in a certain server for example a mini game if they're in a mini game you don't want them to be able to jump to them because uh, like for example if you're doing hunger games they would jump to you but they wouldn't actually be in the game they would just be there not not where you want them so you can or for whatever reason you can add those servers to there you can then uh, change the maximum amount of friends that you want the default user to have so you can put as many slots as you want in there you can then enable or disable the changing or adding of statuses you can change the maximum length of a status um, I've set it to 10 because I don't want it to be too long I just want it to be a short status but you can have it as long as you want um, you then need to put in your data database information so the plugin actually works this is 
a necessity you need to have a database a mysql database for it to work um i'll come back to this bit in a second so then you can enable or disable parties whether you want people to be able to create parties or not you can then change the maximum size of a party change that to whatever you want you can also enable or disable friend messaging really and I'm gonna set it to false because I've already got a, a Bungie messaging plugin on my server so I don't need that and you can set what you want the command for messaging to be so we saw that it that when I showed you it was we were using slash f message it seems to make sense for friend messaging and friend replying but you can change it to whatever you want and you can obviously create a log of the private messages if you want to be able to read them back or whatever okay so then here message messages paths you can um, add different languages detected languages into the plugin so for example the default is English so if we go to the default one uh the default language it is all in english and you can change every message here you can put it as to whatever you want and it supports color codes and these little placeholders but i wouldn't mess around with the placeholders because that's what they're there for um so then you will automatically have the default one which is english then if you want to add the german one you just need to put this line in here okay so it it just it's just German and then you need to make a another JSON file so if you just um, copy and paste this file I guess and rename it as de.json so standing for uh, German and um, you then need to get rid of all of the messages in here and you need to come on to the spigot page and you scroll down to where it says languages and you need to come to the German one and you just have to copy all of this and then you go back to your file you then need to come into your new file that you have made which I haven't done but I'm just going to show you for purposes you're just going to paste it in there and it will change it to German although this isn't German but it will be soon don't worry I'm just showing you how to do it so this will be called de.json not default because that is what it is called here and that is what it is looking for so then if anybody has their default language on Minecraft set to German German <laughs> I was gonna say Deutsch uh, but I meant German um, um then it will automatically detect it and all of these plugin messages will be sent to them in German which is a really cool feature you can obviously set up your own language ones so if you you speak Spanish and you want to set up your own one then you can just change all of these messages to be Spanish if you can translate it and change it to like is it yes or EP for Espanol, um, dot JSON and just add another line in here and it will automatically do that for you. It needs to be the correct uh, language code which you can find all of the codes on the Spigot page. So I hope this has answered any questions you have had about the plugin. If you did enjoy this then or, is, or it has helped you then please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments if there is anything you need help with because I can help you all. You can ask the developer. He is really friendly and really nice and always willing to help. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.